Side note, I've literally just got this in the post. I ordered this the other day. Um, I was actually using this little um, extension thing here and it was just not practical at all. So I've just bought this and it's so much better. I've mounted it to the wall and it's solid. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this. <laughs> uh, so we got to the dyno yesterday and fortunately, this is what we made. So we have got 358 HP um, and we also got 423 um, torque. Uh, so uh, yeah, not too bad at all. Uh, as you can see, um, the, dyno, the tuner said that around 5,000, the castle go, started to go um, lean due to the low pressure fuel pump uh, is failing basically uh, so we're gonna go ahead i've ordered one i've gone ahead and ordered an upgrade one i've ordered the um rs3 um sort of upgrade for the s3 um so that should hopefully come down as soon as possible and as soon as that is in we're gonna go ahead and get this thing back on the dyno and hopefully we should be seeing the 380 mark uh the tuner did say that um on his opinion it should the engine was perfectly fine on the dyno. It was uh, pulling really strong, except for when it got to like 5,000. Uh, like I said, the uh, fuel pump was just not cutting it. So um, yeah, we're gonna head today. We're gonna do the fuel filter, and then I'll go ahead and do another video um, on getting the low pressure fuel pump in. Um, fortunately, I haven't got that. I can't really get that till next week, um, but. I'm very happy that we, you know, we're on the next steps because this thing has been running like shit for so long. And he even said to me when it was first on the dyno, it made 275 brake. And considering all the mods we've already done, it was that was absolutely terrible. Um, and the reason for that is that this car was previously mapped by um, somebody that just plugged in a map. And unfortunately, we've been running that. For a little while now so it was running 275 and as soon as he reset the ecu flashed it back to the original um audi standard it was 300 brakes so as you can see as you can tell it's probably uh absolutely terribly set up but anyway gonna go ahead get this fuel filter on um uh, got it here and it should be fairly easy i've done one of these before uh, i'm just gonna try and remember which side it was i don't remember if it's on the Passenger or driver side, but we'll find out. Okay, so I've just been told by Jason that the um, fuel filter on the S3s are on the driver side. So I'm going to go ahead, get this side jacked up and get it off. I, mean, I remember I did it on my, like my old car and it was not fun, but it was easy enough. Um, I remember there were fuel that like dropped onto my face and whatnot <laughs> so that's gonna be nice but once it's done it's done um on the service book it actually did say that it was done only like 1500 miles ago but considering um if it is something wrong with the the uh, fuel filter that's that's causing the um not or not helping the fuel issue i um i'm just gonna change it anyway because it could be just a cheap filter in this for all i know so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get it jacked up. Okay. Uh, it looks like a genuine one. I think. Can't see any logos on it just yet. But it looks like it's a strap with a Phillips there. And I believe these are like little clamp, clamp things you either push or pull. And then it just comes off. Seems simple enough. Um, otherwise, the rest of this stuff looks alright. Oh, that's nice, that is. Good bit of paste on that. Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll get the tools and come back to honey. All right, 
So I've got my Phillips. I'll take that off. Get the strap off. Okay. So that's that. And then how do these come off then? Um, I'll, uh, I'll have a look and get back to you guys. Okay, so basically, super pretty simple really, is you want to get yourself a pick and then just work yourself inside this little clip. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do it one-handed, but basically you want to get this thing to pull and then while you pull it, um, you want to push the line off and then it'll just pop off, uh, which basically I'm guessing the clip is like holding onto this rim so you've got to pull pull the clip up and then it will just slide back um, i'm not too sure about this one yet but i'll go ahead and let you guys know when i know all right that's before i took this one off basically i pulled this out this is like a little clip so i'll pull it out from like that so it comes out and then you just want to pry it off i'm using a Flat head just to fry the old girl off, but go on, son. Go on, lad. Fucking have it. Come on. Oh, look at that. That's fucking. Oh, that's fucking lovely. That is. Yeah, look at that. That's good. Come on, down my hand. It's just what you want. Nice. All right, well, that's that one. And then, not too sure what the situation is with this one yet. I assume it's a similar thing. Yeah, let's find out. All right, so if you actually pull hard enough, the fuel filter actually just pops down. And then when it, when it does pop down, you want to grab the tissue because it's going to start leaking everywhere. Um, but also, it's exactly the same on this, unfortunately your clip that you have to pull out is actually on the top so most likely just pull the filter down and you better get to it so yeah just pull that clip up and then the uh, hose should just pop off like the rest fairly simple really um yeah okay i stand correct corrected you uh instead of this one you don't pull that that bit out you actually push it down oh nice on my phone so you actually, that clip there, you just push it down and then pull off and it, uh, it comes off. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, give this all a wipe down and then get the new one on. Okay, so here's a new one. This is genuine uh, Volkswagen Audi. And this is the old one, as you can see, it's a um, remake non-genuine uh, I'm gonna cut this open maybe depending if I can be asked or not and see if this is actually very very dirty uh, otherwise we've got a new one here as you can see it is arrowed uh, but obviously you can only go one way because one side is one the other side is um, two connections so very easy to um, install this oh, sorry the hiccups once you uh, get these caps off, which seems to be, there we go. And then it literally should just be push on and it clips and that's it. Pretty simple, I reckon. Okay, so there we go. As I said, all these pipes literally just push on and they clip in. Uh, same with these, just push on and they just clip in. So uh, I'm gonna get my Phillips back in and then Start her up, see how she feels. There we go. Sorted. Okay. So it's back on the floor now. Fuel filter's in.
Well, I guess I can't really do much else other than, than this. Obviously, I've done the fuel filter. Um, this, according to the service book, this was changed 1,500 miles ago before I owned the car. But I mean, I can't say that this condition of it is quite convincing, as it looks like it's. I'm not too sure. I couldn't really tell how long this would be on there. Um, but otherwise, it's got a new OEM one on there now, so that's one thing ruled out. Uh, the fuel filter for this should be perfectly fine for when we get it properly mapped again. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to end this, this video here, guys. Um, I know I'm just trying to sort of keep you guys in the loop of what's going on, but unfortunately, as soon as we got on the dyno, um, it started going lean um, at the high RPMs, saying that the fuel, uh, there was fuel issues, so I couldn't really um, do the video that I wanted, which is basically, it'd be completely successful, put it on the dyno, map it, it makes good power, and then go home and enjoy the power. But unfortunately, uh, we drove it home under like 4,000 RPMs because we needed to baby it, otherwise it'd run lean. Um, so yeah, that's literally what the situation is at the minute. We just need to go ahead, get this um, low pressure fuel pump out of the um, out of the back seats there, whip it out, put a new one, put the uh, new one in when it comes down, and then we'll go ahead and put it back on the dyno. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't have to come out and start fucking around with everything else again. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Just want to keep you guys in the loop. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.